Now, last week, <laughs> we uh, asked you to send in your own ideas for crossbreeds between the genes of celebrities and other life forms. That's right. Here they are. Now, I don't know what this indicates, but we were sent a high proportion of submissions involving Denise Van Outen, Ainsley Harrier. Uh, we like this one best. It's very the, good. The uh, braided mongoose and Jarvis Cocker. <laughs> Probably means areas. nothing. But here are a few of our favourite individual ones. <laughs> First of all, from... Uh, Rob Ady, a Danny Baker giraffe. Look, the tongue moves to you, but it's fallen out now, hasn't yeah. it, Ron? <laughs> well, he won't be able to lick Chris Evans' bum now. <laughs> he won't. <laughs> there it is. That's how that happened. Imagine if it worked. <laughs> it's one simple prop. This one here is uh, Tamara Peckworth's head face on a poodle. <laughs> Seems very appropriate, that somehow. <laughs> Down here, David Whitley of Loughborough has sent us the Dalai camel. Yeah. <laughs> Not the Dalai Lama like you thought. Ah. ah no. And here, uh, two artists independently sent in images of Marky e. Smith's head on small dogs. <laughs> Do you think that means something? I don't know what it could mean, nothing. But uh, best of all was this one. Toby Poole from Bristol sent us this. A cross of the Queen, the uh, body of a donkey, and the eyes of the devil himself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scary, and that is the best one because look, it's in 3D. None of you idiots thought of that, did no. you? That's why you lost. Oh. Well, this bloke sort of thought of it. Rich broke it. <laughs> right, so, Toby Paul is this week's king of the show.